Hey, what's good? In this video, I'm making some braised short ribs. This is a classic recipe that I enjoy making whenever we can score some short ribs on sale. It takes a little bit of prep work and some time, but it's totally worth the wait. I'm using about two pounds of short ribs here, and I don't normally purchase these by weight, but what I like to do is count out enough to cook for dinner for me and my fiance, as well as some leftovers that I can pack for her to take to work the next day. We'll start by prepping our veggies. I'll put a list of all the ingredients in the description as well as at the end of this video. I'm no chef, so don't judge my knife skills, but the goal is to just try and chop all of the veggies to the same size. I think this combination of celery, carrots, and onions is known as a jamiroquai. I'll also slice a head of garlic in half and we'll put that to the side as well. The next thing I'm going to do is season the short ribs with some salt and pepper. Go in the comments and give that guy a thumbs down who said I am cross contaminating my cutting board. I'll be using an instant pot, but it's totally not necessary. You can also use a Dutch oven or a slow cooker. The first thing you'll want to do is definitely sear off the short ribs. I just try and hit up each side of the short ribs till they're nice and brown. It's just about a couple of minutes per side. Once they're all seared, go ahead and pull them from the pot and then place them on the side. Next, I just went ahead and browned this garlic and then I pulled it out before I added all of the veggies. I'll throw these into the pot and give them a stir and cook them up for about five or six minutes till the onions are soft and translucent. You're going to want to make sure that you season this with salt and pepper as well. I'm going to add about two to three tablespoons of tomato paste and then mix that all up.
We'll also add our garlic back at this point. Next, I'm going to add about two-ish cups of red wine. Once we add the wine, we'll use this to deglaze the bottom of the pan. Next, we'll add a sprig of thyme, and then I'm going to throw all of the short ribs back in the sauce. I like to try and put my short ribs bone facing up and meat facing down. To this we're going to add about four or five cups of beef broth and you just need enough to just about cover the short ribs. As I was pouring it, I realized I just had a little bit left, so I just topped it off. So I'm actually planning on pressure cooking these short ribs for one hour. If you don't have a pressure cooker and you're using a slow cooker, you'd want to put this on the slow cooker, medium or low setting for about three and a half to four hours. If you're using a large Dutch oven, you'll want to place this in an oven that has been preheated to 275 degrees and also cook this for about three and a half to four hours or until you're able to shred the meat with a fork. And here's the short ribs, nice and tender, easy to shred. One thing that I also enjoy doing is straining out the sauce or the broth into another container. This makes for a great gravy. If you want, you can even use a stick blender and just blend these veggies right into the gravy. But I like to drain as much of the fat out of the sauce before I top any of this. Another great idea is to just place this in the refrigerator overnight and then that top layer of fat will solidify and then you can easily just pop it off and throw it away. To finish off these short ribs, I love topping it with some fresh parsley and green onions. And if you wanna add a little bit more acidity to it, a freshly grated lemon will do just that. And there it is folks, some braised short ribs. Thank you.